Hi, my name is Barry Kramis. I'm a professor of art and director of the University Art Gallery at Biola University. I want to share with you the meaning of this year's theme, Sanctuary and Sacred Space. I was stunned when President Corey named 2011-2012 the Year of the Arts. Biola has never mounted a year-long arts festival before, and for Dr. Corey to make such an announcement came as an unexpected surprise. Yet this announcement shouldn't have caught me off guard since I know both President Corey and Provost David Nystrom not only understand the arts and the vital role the arts can play in the lives of Christians, but they are committed to promoting and supporting these areas within the university and beyond. Our Year of the Arts started in June when Biola's art department hosted the Christians in the Visual Arts National Conference on campus. Approximately 275 Christian artists from across the United States, Canada, England, and India came together for five days of intensive interaction. This event included seven different art exhibits held all over campus. The first exhibit in the gallery this fall was one of several SIVA traveling exhibitions. Art and text was put together by curator Teresia Bush, formerly employed by the Hirshhorn Museum of Art in Washington, D.C. One of the big reasons the Year of the Arts is happening is that Roberta Amundsen accepted a personal invitation from President Corey to become Biola's 2011-2012 visionary in residence. Mrs. Amundsen not only brings with her a wealth of intellectual and spiritual stimuli that will enliven and enrich our campus throughout the year, but she and Howard are generously supporting many of the special events connected with this celebration. On September 20th, we hosted a gallery opening of Maya Lisa Engelhardt's work, one of Denmark's leading painters. In October, Biola will present its first ever non-student film festival, and something is scheduled for every month. Dana Joy, a poet and former chairman of the National Endowment for the Arts under the Bush administration, will be with us in February. Also in February, Jean Robeson from the Conservatory of Music will direct Poulenc's Dialogues of the Carmelites, a fascinating opera based on the true story of 16 nuns who were sent to the guillotine at the end of the Reign of Terror. Roberta Amundsen is loaning the Biola Art Gallery her collection of early 20th century British art for an exhibition in February and March. In April, there will be an evening with Scott Cairns, one of America's best poets, according to Annie Dillard, as well as an evening with Mako Fujimura, a beloved Christian painter. The seventh annual Arts Symposium, held in March, will feature artists, architects, and theologians as they discuss our year's theme, Sacred Space. The symposium will end with a powerful performance of Kansas City's renowned Storling Dance Theater. The year's culminating event is in May 2012, with world premieres of a special commission piece that our own Robert Dunham is composing this fall for Biola's chorale and orchestra. The work will be performed with members of the Pacific Symphony Orchestra and the Biola or Orchestra under the direction of Pacific Symphony Orchestra's conductor, Carl St. Clair. What an amazing year we have before us. The arts, music, literature, poetry, visual art and architecture, dance, film, theater, and the culinary arts are languages of the soul distinct from routine language. We turn to the arts to express our deepest feelings and to explore the mysteries of both the physical and spiritual realms. The arts reflect through sensorial means a celebration of God's multifaceted and diverse creation. They incorporate passionate responses to all of life's experiences. They reflect man's search for meaning and endeavor to make sense out of the fragmented pieces of our earthly existence. According to Northwestern Bible College professor Jerry Buma, Three essential experiences sustain and nourish our souls. These are worship, conjugal relations, 
and the arts. This is what he has to say. Worship, intimacy, the arts, and aesthetic experience are perhaps the three most soul-stirring and in some cases soul-shattering experiences of which humans are capable. All three are what we call peak experiences. All three arise from the human's deepest need to find communion with and meaning in someone or something outside his or her own being. All three are life-changing experiences. The arts are not frills or extras, but generous gifts that touch the deepest parts of our beings. In his book, Pilgrim Heart, Pepperdine University's provost, Dr. Daryl Tippins, suggests that the arts exist so that we might more fully encounter truth, awaken a longing for transcendence, experience mystery, and cultivate faith through the exercise of the imagination. I want to do more than simply invite you to discover the arts at Biola this year. I want to challenge you to give priority to some of these events and ask the Lord to stretch you and speak to you through them. All of the arts at Biola need your encouragement and ongoing support. If it weren't for the arts, I probably would not be a Christian today, for it has been and continues to be in those mysterious, sensate, soulful encounters that the Lord has chosen to confirm his presence and nourish me at the very core of my being. May Jesus Christ, our Lord, the centerpiece of all knowledge, creativity, and experience be honored and glorified through the events and performances that transpire during this special year, this Year of the Arts. Please visit our Year of the Arts website to find out about all the wonderful events and features of this year. Thank you.